subscribe to movie talkies and click on the bell icon for latest updates so my apologies for coming late thank you sorry Bombay traffic and uh, I have a bigger uh, leg issue. Okay. Uh, but I commit to committed to Zaidi Sab, and I just come back from Germany and uh, he said I have to come. Thank you so much, Mr. Anil Kapoor, for being here despite your health condition and agreeing to launch. Please, my health is fine. Yeah, it's not that much. Bolo. Well, I hope so, and I hope I, you will be as always. Give me two hours to reach here. You will be a little bit of a problem. Holy, it's a hard job. It took me one hour. But thank you so much. Indeed, it's a pleasure, sir, that you made it here and agreed to launch the book. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's a pleasure and honor to be here. After a long time, I come to this part of the city, uh, you know, and uh, so it's because I've. I usually used to come with my girlfriend over here, who's my wife now, so to this uh, Chinese corner, Camps Corner, and I have to come here also. It's so good to be back here. Wonderful. Uh, may I ask Mr. Kapoor to please uh, help us in launching the book finally? So uh, if I could ask uh, Ms. Aishwarya to join them uh, on stage. Uh, we would have the unveiling of the book uh, right now. Okay, uh, may I ask uh, the photographers to please take a seat while we have the video cameras uh, rolling. If I could just ask all to stay for two more minutes, please. Uh, to move forward, uh, if I may, please request uh, Mrs. Eddy to take this evening forward a conversation with our guest as well. I think we had a lot of discussion. The guys must be very bored and tired now. So, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah. I think I would ask Kapoor Sahib to say a few words and you know, you have all been waiting for him. Please, sir. With you all around, nobody is going to wait for me. Because, uh, you know, and uh, uh, of course, you know, uh, I haven't read the book, but uh, I know about Zaidi Sahib a lot and I've uh, been a huge admirer of his work and the kind of hard work and the kind of research he puts in. I've done a film also which was uh, based on one of his books called Shura Vadala. That's the time I came to know him and met him personally and interacted with him. There's a lot of other things we are talking about for the future, not only for uh, doing it over here, but uh, doing something internationally, which uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, if it works, I'll be great. And uh, <clears throat> of course, who's not interested in dangerous minds? You know, we all are interested in minds. And it's all about the mind, you know, and life is all about mind. And uh, and it's intriguing. It's always for me. It's always been intriguing as an actor, uh, you know, to get into the psyche of uh, a mind and how a normal-looking person suddenly can be so dark and so dangerous, and then suddenly the next moment leading a very normal life. You know. So I want to get into that mind. I want to understand. I want to perform those characters. I want to read about them. You know, it can be, it, it's, it's very, very uh, intriguing, disturbing, exciting. You know, all these emotions you go through once you get into these kind of minds. And it uh, uh, looks great, it looks fantastic. I wish uh, Jerry Sub all the best and Vijesh have met you for the first time. Congratulations. And uh, it's great to, be, great to be here in this kind of an ambience, this kind of an atmosphere with so many people around over here. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. An honor. Today, I've got the honor to releasing this book with Zadi Saab and Vijay Saab and being in front of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for those kind words, Ms. Kapoor. What is it? I've got another gift. I'm getting another gift. Oh, my book. Okay, okay. Oh, thank you. 
10 years old. She was collecting my, she was exposing my age. She says, I'm collecting your books since I was 10 years, uh, 10 years old. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'll come and see you after this book launch and we'll sit and discuss. But today it is all about dangerous minds, not about me. So I, I thank promise. Thank you. I'll we come. can uh, do that Fuck later. Up. I promise. I promise. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. You can have Very a seat. Very sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you. The so cop is asking me a question. Okay. <laughs> Scary, huh? You know, you did on screen uh, what we see in reality. And now, how, how did you relate to it? How, how did you get into that character? Which character? In, in 24, in ah, the recent one. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 24 was... He's a pretty dark guy. He's a pretty dark guy. And he's a guy with a dangerous mind, 100%. I think somewhere uh, the kind of job, you know, these kind of jobs are very, very uh, mentally and physically very taxing. And then, of course, he has to deal, interact, uh, research, understand with all kinds of uh, people who have dangerous minds. So somewhere you have to to understand a dangerous mind, to you know, uh, you have to have certain kind of religious mind yourself. So, so uh, doing this character, obviously, I had to do a lot of research. You cannot do anything unless you really get go deep into it. So I did go deep into it. I met a lot of people. I've got into a lot of trouble also in the past, trying to meet people and uh, interacting with them. So they felt that I have some kind of, uh, you know, close relationship with these underworld people whom I met personally. I met um, uh, cops. I met uh, officers on, you know, on top, on you know, handling uh, and interacted with them, spoken to them. I met small convicts also. So I met all kinds of visited jails. So and then of course today. The youngsters and all of us are very, very fortunate that you have uh, the digital media, the internet, the YouTube, and so much material is available for you to really, uh, if you really want to go deep into it, you can read them, you can meet them, you can listen to them, you can watch their videos. So it's a combination of so many things I have done. Uh, and of course, today, one of my reasons of my injury also is 24. Because it was such a physically exhausting and uh, uh, demanding uh, role that I try to raise the bar uh, and um, so trying to raise the bar uh, obviously you sometimes have to uh, you get these kind of small injuries so so I've given my blood and sweat to 24 and to Jai Singh Rathod it might not show on screen but there's a lot of hard work behind doing this character one tricky question when is the next season coming the next season, of course, it will be uh, as soon as I start running. Now I can walk, I can talk, I can be, uh, you know, come for this, uh, you know, all these events and, uh, you know, and uh, so once I can start jogging and sprinting, the day I can sprint, uh, that's the day I'm going to start uh, 24th or 3rd season. Unless, you know, I'll become some senior kind of a guy. But 23, 24, third season will be made, 100% by the grace of God. Yeah. Context to 24 only. So I really love 24. Uh, both the seasons I've watched, been a big, big fan of the show. My entire family has been a big fan of the show. So um, you must have done a fair bit of research regarding the character and whatever goes on. So I wanted to ask, um, according to your research, whatever you've done and whatever um, how how you have played the character, what drives these people to do these horrific acts? You know. What drives these people to do things that uh, affect so many people? What blinds them at that moment? What's the impulse behind them? You're, you're talking about the opposite? The, the opposition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposition. The opposition. You know, I, I, I feel, as uh, Bridget Sa was saying, first of all, most of them are brainwashed. You know, and, uh, you know, the people who are doing really something which is which you cannot even dream of, somewhere I feel they are brainwashed. And I think a lot of people are there for the money also, you know. Uh, so this is my 
uh, it's money, power, you know, all these things are there and, uh, and brainwash. I think that must, these are things. And of course, they are brainwashed to think that they are being patriotic. They are brainwashed that they are doing it for the cause. Uh, you know, for them it might be the cause, but they are convinced about it. So they are brainwashed to that extent. And we think that they are being, not being, doing the right thing. And they are not being, you know, they are, but they are convinced that what they are doing is right. So they are completely brainwashed. So it's a combination of many things. So it depends on person to person the you're talking about. So there are certain criminals who are doing only for power, only for money. And there are some criminals who are brainwashed uh, or terrorists, whatever, whoever you're talking about. Yeah. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to have authors uh, to sign books so you can collect your copies and get them signed uh, in line. Right? Once again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.